Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel on Feynman Integration. Again, we're not going to be actually solving an integral today. We're going to be developing another tool um, that stems directly from the, uh, the tool we developed on the last video, which was the, the Basel problem, which says that basically this, the sum, well not basically, it says exactly this, from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared is equal to pi squared over 6. And of course, you know, that's equal to 1 plus 1 fourth plus 1 ninth plus 1 sixteenth. I'm sorry, plus 1 sixteenth and on and on and on forever, right? n equals 1, we get 1 over 1. n equals 2, we get 1 over 4. n equals 3, we get 1 over 9. Uh, so yeah, that's the Basel problem. But today what we're going to be uh, trying to find is this. Oh, and we also know that this is, oh, I already said it, equal to pi squared over 6. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to find this. We want to find the sum to infinity of negative 1 to the n plus 1 over n squared. In other words, the sum of the reciprocals of the squares. So if we plug in 1, we'll get, let's see, negative 1 to the 2, which is just 1, over 1, which is just 1. And then, of course, it will alternate. So we had a plus first, so now we'll have a minus, and that's going to be 1 over 2 squared, 4, plus 1 ninth, minus 1 sixteenth, dot, 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 dot. Okay, so how are we going to find that? I've seen a bunch of proofs online that are um, pretty involved, um, but there's, there's kind of an easy way to do this. Um, so let's define this uh, sum j, and we'll, we'll set it equal to this, basically our original problem there that we did yesterday, the Basel problem. 1 plus 1 fourth plus 1 ninth plus 1 sixteenth. And I'm going to, why do I always mess up? 1 over 16. 1 sixteenth plus 1 twenty-fifth plus 1 36th. Um, of course, plus forever and ever and ever and ever. Now, let's uh, set what we want to find to i. Okay. Well, we know i is, is this, forever and ever. So we get 1 minus 1 fourth plus 1 ninth minus 1 16th plus 1 25th minus 1 36th and then plus minus forever. Okay, now let's see, how is this going to be any good? Um, how does this help us? Well, we have a system of equations. Maybe if we add or subtract them together, we can get back a like constant multiple of something we know. Um, so see, adding them together wouldn't really work because then we get, let's see, one plus one is two. This would be zero. This would be two ninths. This would be zero. This would be two twenty-fifths. And I just don't see a way right now to, to make that useful. I mean, that would be two times, uh, the sum of the odd squares, the reciprocals of the odd squares. In other words, one, two times one plus three squared plus one over five squared plus one over seven squared, etc. But what'll work a little bit better is if we subtract them. So let's say, let's see, if we subtract them. Yeah, let's take j minus 
i. That way we come out with positive results. So that's going to be equal to 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 fourth minus, or 1 fourth minus negative 1 fourth is 1 half. That would be 0, and then we'd have plus 1 eighth, and then this would be a 0, and then we get plus 1 eighteenth. And again, if we, if we kept going we, with that, we'd get a uh, plus 0, and then a plus 1, well, let's see, 32. All right, so that's cool. Um, does that help us? Yeah, it does, actually. Uh, because we can factor out a one-half, and this will continue on and on and on and on. This will be exactly equal to one-half of um, one over one squared plus one over two squared plus one over three squared plus one over four squared. And that's useful uh, because this is the sum of the reciprocals of the squares right there. See, this is one squared is one and one half times that is one half. Two squared is four, which is one fourth times one half is one eighth, which is right there. You see how that kind of matches up. All right, but this. Is exactly this, which is pi squared over 6. Or j. Okay, so what is that really saying? So now we're saying what we just said right here is that j minus i is equal to one half j, right? j minus i is equal to one half of j. Okay. So just let's just do a little bit of rearranging. Let's subtract one half j from both sides and add i to both sides. So we'd get one half j on this side, and that would be equal to i. Okay. Well, that's it. Now we've found j, um, or now we've found i, which is what we actually wanted right here. That's the sum of the reciprocals. All right, this is i. So i is equal to one half j. In other words, this progression right here, one minus one fourth plus one ninth minus one sixteenth on and on forever is going to be equal to pi squared over 12. All right, I apologize for the sloppy video, but I just wanted to get that point across because we are gonna be actually using this result in the next video to actually solve an integral. So there you go. Um, there is the sum of the, the alternating sum of the reciprocals of the squares. That's a mouthful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that.